Hello and welcome to this year's Light Up Your Life from St Nicholas Hospice for our online service. You're most welcome as we come together to remember with thanksgiving those who have died and those whom we remember today. We light this candle as a sign to acknowledge the pain of loss, the loss of relationships, the loss of jobs, the loss of health. Our Bible reading from St John's Gospel. In the beginning the Word already existed. The Word was with God and the Word was God. He existed in the beginning with God. God created everything through him, and nothing was created except through him. The word gave life to everything that was created, and his life brought light to everyone. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness can never extinguish it. Today we join together to remember those whom we love but no longer see their physical presence, although their legacy, values and love dwells within us. All of us are in different stages of our individual bereavement journeys, 
following the death of a loved one, a partner, child, parent, friend or neighbour. In our remembrance together, we will hear our loved one's names read aloud. It is a reminder not only to us, those who love them, but it is a recognition of a life lived, shared and remembered. It's an opportunity to reflect and remember time shared, the ordinary and the not so ordinary. Special times and encounters that remain part of our memory. They continue to be part of us and not forgotten. When we hear aloud the names of our loved ones, our heart is touched and we are reminded of love shared, given and received. We reminisce and give thanks for those we continue to remember and treasure. Remembering is important, not only for those known to us, but to those we don't know or are connected to, but we are joined by our shared humanity. We remember those who've died and those who have been bereaved through the pandemic. We remember refugees and those who have lost their lives through terrorism, violence, natural disasters and people trafficking. Loss and mourning touches every part of society, experienced both by communities and individuals. As we journey through the month of December towards the festive season, Christmas, we celebrate the birth of the Christ child. In our Bible reading, we heard of the word made flesh and dwelling amongst us. The child coming to earth in humbleness to bring to the world love, hope and peace. The passage also speaks of darkness and light. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness can never extinguish it. Light, a sign of hope, presence and remembrance. As dark as grief can be, life and light are greater. The light of Christmas, hope, can be a steady guide as we face the new year. We all remember in different ways. To remember is an important action and part of life. We remember when people offer us words of comfort and support. Words are such an important part of our existence. We offer words to communicate with others, to say how we are feeling and to offer solace. Or on occasion, there are no words, so we hold the silence or give a reassuring touch. Remembering is so individual. It's up to us how we remember and celebrate those whom we love. Shortly, we will join together in the words of remembering. We're remembering our loved ones in all the seasons of the year. We remember their gift of love, companionship, encouragement, and their sense of humour, or their love of music, or all their practical gifts, and the gift of courage and resilience. For some of us in our remembering, we feel God's presence with us, and that and presence is available for all. A presence that offers peace, that will sustain us when our hearts are low and empty. God's love can never be taken from us and the love of God can be a constant source of hope in our life experience and those who journey with us. As we remember our loved ones who inspired much love, in the memory and life experience of those whose lives they touched, they will continue to live on and be remembered. We light this candle as we remember our faith, our spirituality and the gift of hope which the Christmas story offers to all people. I thought of you with love today, but that is nothing new. 
I thought about you yesterday and days before that too. I think of you in silence and I often speak your name. All I have are memories and your picture in a frame. Your memory is my keepsake with which I'll never part. God has you in his keeping, I have you in my heart. We light this candle to remember those whom we have loved and have lost.
Dick Alderton, Lavinia Alderton, Aubrey, Roger Besant, Bunny Bowers, Dave Bowyer, Vince Butcher, Brian Byford, Ted Capel, Chris, Alma Clark, Joe Clark, Harry Cole, Hazel Cole, Morris Cole, Tim Cook, Andrew Thomas William Cooper, Joanne Cresswell, Isabel Cubby, Maureen Day, Jenny Dockrell, Patricia Donati, Janet Donnelly, Peter Donnelly, Vincent Dooley, The Dooley Family, Terry Downs, Douglas Dre, Robert Dre, Phyllis Drinkwater, David Allen Eames, Barbara Eshelby, Brian Ewers, The Farragher Family, Robert Featherstone, Joseph Fogarty, Mary Fogarty, George McQueen Galt, Alan Ghent, Jack Griggs, Pauline Griggs, George Hall, Julia Hardwick, David Harris, Roland William Hayer, Robert Derek Jewell, Patsy Jones, Margaret Hazel Jupe, Christine Killingback, Bob Knight, Pat Knight, Liam, Thomas Mackenzie, Ben Mason, Ina Mason, Tessa McKenna, Joanne Moody, Jason Morley, Julie Morse, Robert Mum, Doreen Murray, James Murray, Dudley Minot, Francis Frank T. Norton, Debbie Pace, Derek Pace, Michael Pearpoint, Patricia, Mike Phillips, Andrew Power, Rebecca Prigmore, Richard, Christine Robson, Valerie Jean Otley Rose, Patrick Ryan, James Sadler, Richard Salter, Derek Savage, Nora Savage, Joe Tom Sawyer, Bob Spears, Norman Story, Harold Taylor, Jennifer Tuttlebury, George Walker, Phyllis Walker, Louise Wallage, Philip Webb, Ray Webb, John Wigmore, Terry Winfield, Oliver Wright.
as we come to our act of remembrance. If you'd like to, please respond from wherever you are with the words, we remember them. We remember all who live with pain or suffering, all who grieve and who will die this night. We remember those whom we have loved and the many blessings they have brought to our lives. In the rising of the sun and its going down, we remember them. We remember them. In the blueness of the sky and in the warmth of summer, we remember them. We remember them. In the rustling of the leaves and in the beauty of autumn, we remember them. We remember them. In the blowing of the wind and in the chill of winter, we remember them. We remember them. When we are lost and sick at heart, we remember them. We remember them. At the beginning of the year and when it ends, we remember them. We remember them. When we have joys we yearn to share, we remember them. We remember them. As long as we live, they too shall live, for they are part of us and we remember them. We remember them. We light this candle to remember and to give thanks for those who have supported and comforted us. Hello, I'm Charlotte and I'm here at the Tree of Reflection in the gardens of St Nicholas Hospice Care. We know at the hospice that the festive season is a time of hope and joy, of mince pies and carols, but we also know it can be a really difficult time for people that are grieving, for people that are bereaved, and particularly for people that are contemplating and approaching a first Christmas without the person that they cared for. So now is a time, a moment, a, a kind of opportunity to think, to reflect and to, to pause and allow ourselves space to think about what matters to us. At the hospice we offer psychological services to children through Nikki's Way and to adults, adult bereavement services. And through those services we support people in, in their remembering, in their grief and in their, their living in grief, particularly at times like this that are particularly poignant. Remembering can be difficult, um, it often is, and what's symbolic and meaningful for me might be really difficult and harrowing for someone else. So it's really important that we, we take time to acknowledge that we're all different, that we remember differently, and take time to be kind to ourselves and kind to each other, and really value the difference in our experiences as well as the similarities. Through talking to people, through the work that we do, um, as part of the psychological services here at the hospice, we've really found that sometimes it's important to think about new rituals and new routines as we approach the festive season, rather than perhaps focusing exclusively on what's gone before and what we used to do. And importantly for us all, children and adults, is to remember to smile. We can smile, we can laugh, we can have fun, we can smile and laugh and have fun in grief and through grief. Living well in grief is a, a possibility even on those days where it's really difficult to see those little glimmers of light. So I'd just like to wish you all well and for you to know that we're here as a service and as a hospice for you. If it is your tradition to join in with the words of the Lord's Prayer, please do. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.
we light this candle as a sign of renewed hope and peace. The peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and the love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Hello, I'm Linda McInhill, new Chief Executive at St Nicholas Hospice Care. Thank you for having joined with us in this Light Up A Life service where we've had the opportunity to remember those who we love and miss most, especially at this time of year. I hope that you've found it to be both comforting and inspiring. Thank you to those of you who have taken this opportunity to contribute to the ongoing work of St Nicholas Hospice. We commit again to you at this bittersweet season to be there to be a help and a support in whichever way you feel most appropriate. And as we look ahead to 2022, again, we want to offer that support. Thank you for everything you do. Thank you for your support of each other. We wish you well.